want to be able to zoom in and out of your slides or jump to sections of your presentation without having to click through the whole deck, here's how. As you know, PowerPoint should go to app for creating presentations. And don't even try and tell me Keynote, Google Slides, or Genially is better than PowerPoint. I've used them all, and it's like saying Shaking Stevens was better than Elvis. Look similar, sound similar, but definitely not the real thing. And if you've got any arguments with that, stick them in the comments below, and let's see how convincing you are. But the problem that I do find with PowerPoint, though, is that it's a bit too linear as we work through our presentation slide by slide by slide. Now, I've used Prezi before, and you'll know if you've used it yourself, that you can zoom in and out of your presentation in kind of three dimensions. But I do find Prezi can leave the viewer feeling a bit motion sick. Well, PowerPoint's slide zoom feature offers you a happy medium where you can zoom in and out of slides as well as jumping between sections, making it non-linear and more dynamic, which is great for independent or blended learning resources without overdoing it on the motion sickness front. So let me show you how PowerPoint slide zoom is a menu making magic wand. So in PowerPoint, we've got our presentation and it's linear. So we start the presentation and move through the slides one by one. But what if we want to be more responsive and jump between slides? Well, that's where the insert zoom feature comes in. The zoom options can be found in your top ribbon nestled in the insert dropdown. There are three different types of zoom. There's summary zoom, section zoom, and individual slide zoom. Summary zoom allows you to select the presentation slides you want to use on a single summary slide. You can zoom into them in detail in any order. Section zoom is used on a presentation that's broken into sections, and slide zoom lets you zoom in and out of a single presentation slide. We'll start with summary zoom. The summary zoom creates a menu of your presentation on one slide with a thumbnail of each slide that you can click on. Select summary zoom and a new window opens where you can select different slides or presentation milestones you want to highlight with zoom. With your selection ticked, hit the insert button and a new slide will appear under summary section, containing your whole presentation as clickable thumbnails. When you click on a thumbnail, you zoom into that slide. Whatever comes after each of these slides will appear in your slideshow. You can choose to zoom out of that section, move to another, or return later and go through these slides. The beauty of using the slide zoom feature in PowerPoint is that you get to replace your linear slideshow by putting it all into one slide instead, where you can easily jump in and out of the sections you need. By using a menu system, you can give the audience control over the direction of the presentation and easily navigate to the relevant slides with just one click. You can rearrange the slides in your summary and also copy it over to a slide you've already designed. You've got a few other options to format your summary slide, which is available to you. Select the zoom element on your slide and choose the zoom tab in the ribbon. From here, you can replace the slide holder with a different image. You can check this box so that at the end of each section, you return to the summary slide. You can also turn the zoom transition on and off so that it doesn't animate in and out. Next, we've got the section zoom. But before we move on to that, I'd just like to genuinely say thank you to everyone who subscribed to the channel so far. And if you're here and you've not subscribed yet, could you please do me a favor and subscribe now? It really does mean a lot to me and I'd absolutely love to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year, which seems absolutely mental. So enough of that, let's crack on and jump back into the video. So if you've got a presentation with lots of slides, section zoom might be just what you need. First, you need to create sections within your presentation. We'll split our presentation into intent, implementation, and impact. To do this, go over to the slide preview and right click between the slides you want to create a section for and title it, intent. Do the same thing for the other sections. Now we've got our sections created, we select our content slide and insert a section zoom. So insert and then in the middle, zoom and section zoom. In the dialog box, we're presented with the first slide of each of our sections. Click to choose which sections to include. I don't need the default section, so I'll select the intent, implementation and impact sections and click insert. Instead of having my zoom slides organized in a grid like it was in the summary zoom, 
This time I get each slide in a stack, so we can just drag them around to rearrange. Again, we can change the formatting of the slide zoom and choose whether it returns to the summary slide after each section. I want to keep that, but I also want to change the slide cover for something that looks a little bit more like a section title. So while I'm in the zoom formatting, I choose the slide I want to change, and up here on the left, I choose change image and from a file and browse to the image I want instead. And now we've got a different placeholder image for that section. I'll go ahead and do that for the other two sections. So let's see how that works. Let's jump ahead to the implementation phase of the project and we can work our way through that section and once we're at the end of the section, we return to the summary slide. So let's take a look at our final option, Slide Zoom. Slide Zoom allows you to navigate to any slide you like from any slide in your presentation. And instead of creating a separate main menu slide to house your navigation buttons, Slide Zoom adds that button to your chosen slide. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go to the objective slide of our presentation. The main information is the overview text here on the left, but we want the presentation to zoom into each of the key questions so we can expand on these points. So let's start with creating three slides, one for each question. We need to make sure the background color is the same as the original slide. Create the questions on each slide. Now we can insert thumbnails for those questions by inserting a slide zoom and selecting the three slides we want. We can then reposition these over our original slide. And in the zoom dialog, we make the last slide return to the summary slide for this section. Now when we click through, we zoom into each question before moving on through the presentation. This is a great way to highlight important parts of a presentation or to expand on information where necessary. So now you don't have to communicate your message in a linear fashion. You can move around your presentation in a more responsive way to your audience, or even provide the presentation as some blended learning content where the viewer can choose where to go. If you've learned anything useful in this video, then please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. And if there's anything you need that I've not covered, then let me know that in the comments too. I use those comments to tailor my videos just for you. And I'll see you again for another Tuesday Tech Tip.